Rangon, he can't keep up with these guys as far as high flying, but he is a veteran. He knows how to be crafty. He knows how to make things hurt, and that's how he is able to stay two steps ahead of everybody. Oh, Mark Quinn manning up there saying, give me, give me all you got, and Anthony A. Go poking him in the eye. I gotta say, I like a nice poke to the eye. It, there's nothing wrong with a good poke to the eye oh, as hey. long as the referee doesn't see. It's like Indiana Jones when that guy was doing all that fun stuff and he just pulled out the gun and, and shot, shot him. him. They don't got time for this. Great backflip, great moonsault. Oh, eye poke. Absolutely. Now we're even. And, and look where it's got them. They're in charge. They've turned the moved, tides. Yes, they've moved Marquette all the way to their corner, cutting off the ring. Uh, now he's making his he's making him watch his, his brother as he gets kicked in the face. And watch Amazing Red work, because as innovative as he can be as far as athleticism, all it takes is a simple move like a running drop kick, and he can do it better than anyone. And that's how he's going to keep this team ahead. And still quicker with just such ferocity, right? Bringing right. those feet right to the face, knocking him down, and then dragging him back to his corner to make sure he doesn't make the tag. Oh, brutal shot as Mark Quinn was hanging out of the rings. Remember, not Lucha rules here, so if you go to the outside, it does not... Uh, initiate a tag. What is wrong with this referee? He should be fired. That was very blatant by Anthony Gang going there to distract the referee, and he fell for it. Listen, sometimes if you're pulling on a ref shirt, they're going to get pissed and they're going to stay with you. It's an easy thing to do when you're in there. And listen, kudos for Anthony Gangone and Amazing Red knowing how dumb this referee is to do that. Hey, 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 all right. We don't need to talk about Eric Greenleaf like that. His wife and child are here. Wow, beautiful catching him. Oh, look he at that. He caught him in a headlock takeover, then able to bridge, putting a lot of tension on the neck there. But watch Isaiah Cassidy. Oh, oh no, he, he caught him. Is that cattle mutilation? What's going on here? That's a variation of it for yeah, sure. Yeah, variation of cattle mutilation. But Eddie Gagon, he's got to watch his shoulders. He's got to watch his shoulders. Isaiah Cassidy able to get to the ropes. Generally with that, you need to bridge. You know, you apply more pressure, but you keep your shoulders off the mat. Boom. Vicious forearm taking Isaiah Cassidy down right in the direction of his corner. He's making sure to cut off that ring. Private party have been trying everything they can think of to get back in this match, but Gangone and Red have an answer for everything, and that's that long veteran status. That's that training that they do, Amazing Red training others now. So yes. that is why they are so advanced and why they're so ahead of private party. Yeah. Oh, Isaiah Cassie. He's firing up a little bit, but he didn't take it down. He's close to his corner, but Amazing Red right on him. That's what you get for showing off like that. Instead of firing up and jumping around like a moron, maybe pay attention to your competitor and you'd be ahead. Especially someone like the Amazing Red who's been around for so long. you got to believe that he went to Anthony Gango and he said a bunch of, you know, hey, let's make sure we keep him in our corner. He laid out a game plan, and that's something that private party may not have done. They, they think, let's just go out there, let's do it. It generally works for us, but they're not generally going up against the Amazing Red. I understand and I appreciate youthful exuberance, but one thing I do not appreciate is just being cocky and stupid, and right now that's what private party's doing. You know, young kids... Have, they're extremely talented. Don't take that away from them. But yes, sometimes they, oh, wow, right on the inside of the thigh. And a chop to the jaw. That could be it. Isaiah Cassie, uh, instinct maybe brought that shoulder up. I'm not sure because he is rocked. But yes, like you said, youthful exuberance. But they do love the adulation of the crowd. They like to hear those chants. They like to have fun. So sometimes they go to it, but to their detriment, though. They're going to be taken down. They'll be knocked down a few notches, especially by a veteran like Amazing Red. Then go start a stage show somewhere. Go go around the country and tour and maybe DJ, get the crowd pumped up. When you're in professional wrestling, when you're in a ring, pay attention to what you're doing. Eyes on your opponent at all times is definitely the key. But it doesn't mean, oh, Isaiah Cassidy not able to make the taxes. But he, that's the Amazing Red smart. being brilliant. Yes, that is not smart to just run at your opponent. Right? You're in your corner. Could have waited it out. What's he got here? Double underhook. Hooking the legs as well. Picking him up package style. Oh! 
His head drops right on the knee. Anthony Gangone. And listen, Taki Pitts, I, I, listen. I, I have been giving Gangone in Amazing Red a lot of credit for being crafty veterans, but that was a stupid move, too. That's a stupid pin. Such a devastating maneuver. You saw how he landed. He was awkwardly in the ropes. Could have dragged him to the center. Got that three count. But Anthony Gangone, he is a little bit young, too. Like you said, they like to flaunt to the crowd. He thought he had him, but he didn't. Young and dog ears, maybe. Younger than Amazing Red is basically what I was going for. Okay, sure. So is the Washington Monument. Whoa! Isaiah Cassidy able to spring up and kick Amazing Red. Pushes off Gangone. Reaching, reaching, reaching. Not able to get it. He's fighting with everything he has. Flips over the back of Gangone. Making the tag to Mark Webb. Gango throws him off. Oh. But Mark Quinn is fresh. Dives on Amazing Red. Back in the ring. Yeah. Catches Gango with a drop kick. Now if he's smart, he's going to keep on him. Oh, bang on him. Oh, he landed on his feet, but taking Amazing Red down. Fosbury flop. Mark Quinn is on fire. I'll give him credit. That was pretty incredible. That was amazing. Big springboard dropkick pushes him all the way to the outside. What's Mark Quinn got? Gesturing to the crowd. I'm not sure what he's looking for here. Well, if it's like the last time, something insane. Wait a minute! Gigantic flipping senton! Unbelievable! Mark Quinn doing it for his brother. His tag team partner wanting to win, wanting to stay in Limitless Wrestling. Yeah, they need a big win here if they want to come back. 450 splash takes. What's he? One, two. Oh, just barely able to kick out. Got that right shoulder up. And this is where the inexperience is going to come into play because instead of going right to something else, he kind of looked around. He was thinking, what should I do next? And it might cost him. Going up for, for something again. I'm not sure if he wants that 450. Maybe something else. Shooting star lays on his feet, rolls through. Isaiah Cassidy, oh, this may not be a smart move. This may not be a smart move. He, he took a lot of punishment earlier. You can see. Whoa. Brings him back in. Satellite DDT takes him down. Asai Muso. Pin that man. One, two. Oh, almost three. They thought they had it. They did not have it. And now I know for a fact that Amazing Red and Anthony Gang don't have something up their sleeve. They're too good to just let this one slide. They have to have something because Private Party has been firing on all cylinders after tagging in Mark Quinn. But remember, Isaiah Cassidy, the legal man, he's hurt. He's taking a lot of punishment. Gang going, just slapping. Doling out heavy right hands. Whoa, pop up lung breaker. Lung breaker? Lung blower, whatever. Whoa, amazing run. Spanish fly off the back, off the stack up. Gang going over. Unbelievable kick by the Amazing Red. See, this is what I was talking about. They have something in mind. Oh! <laughs> Elevated tilt to world, complete shot. I don't even know how to call some of these maneuvers. How did he kick out of that? How is Mark Quay kicking out of these moves? I don't know, but Amazing Red and Anthony Gango now have to be on the other side of it wondering what do they have to do to finish this up. That's what they had up their sleeve, like you said, but exactly. Well, go for Code Red here, popping himself up. Oh, and Insiguri takes him down. Gango with the boot to the face. A little bit of... Uh, Michael Jackson? Yeah, a little bit of Michael Jackson for that Gamangiri kick to the face. Whoa! 
Oh, caught him. Oh, a little bit too flashy of a move. Whoa, and a nice bridge up. Nope, not gonna get the backslide on Gangone. Double, double, whoa. Whips him around, head and arm suplex into a backbreaker. Oh, Isaiah Cassie barely able to get to that pinfall and break it up. Really fantastic display from both teams, leaving it all on the line, showing what it means to be in Limitless. And that one loss could send you packing, so they both know the importance. All four men down, trying to get to their feet. Unfortunately, in these situations, you, you tend to lose who's the legal man and, and who's the illegal man. And so it's going to be tough for uh, referee Eric Greenleaf to. What did you I know, tell you about this referee? He's a net. I mean, all these men are hitting fair shots, so sometimes you just let him go at it. What's going on here? Kicks to the gut. Oh, Polish hammer. Capoeira kick. Now what is going on? Oh, he hit his own partner. Wait, let's go. Oh, okay, here we go. Double kicks. Wow, unbelievable. Super kick in Zaguri. Gang go to stun. Private party setting something up, lifting Anthony Gangone to the top turnbuckle. Both men ascending. Oh, this is precarious. This is dangerous. Isaiah Cassidy all the way over. But here's Mark Quinn. Oh, Hurricane running into a cutter. One, two. How is he kicking out? How is he possibly kicking out of moves like that? Anthony Gangone wants to be back here in Limitless Wrestling. This is why he's one of the best veterans in the Northeast, because he can get out of things like that. Sometimes it just comes down to grit, but will grit be able to? Oh, he big double boots to the face of Mark Quinn. Pick him up from Alpamari water slide brings him over to a knee. Down on him. One, two, three. That takes Mark Quinn out. See you at the party, Richter. Anthony Gang going amazing red. Big victory here.
ovation to all four men. Sore losers, well, sore winners, if you will. That was uncalled for, and I'm sure this isn't the last we've seen of these men here in Limitless Wrestling.